Hey guys, it's Extreme Strategy here, and today I have another Civilization VI mod for you. Last time, you absolutely seemed to love it. I've been getting tons of views, even a, a subscriber from the last one, so I'm doing another one today. And this one is going to break the game even more than the time before. This one is not going to have a cheat panel that makes it so that way everything is stupidly overpowered, and you just click a button and... You complete all of your technology. As you can see, all I have up here is the world tracker. No cheat panel. So in this one, we're going to do something a bit different. We're just going to found our city. We're not even going to care where we throw it. If the mod works right, please tell me the mod works right. Yep, it does. Um, we are currently gaining 61.5 culture, 54 food, 67.1 production, 63 science, 60 faith, and 606 gold per turn. <laughs> oh, and our... Warriors also have stupid amounts of range, and so do all of our units, actually. Yeah, we've already found someone. Drop a new eye. That's, like, exactly like last time. Um, what do we do for the very first one? Let's go with Ottery. Let's build a monument in one turn. All right, it's turn two, and we are taking care of everything. So we're going to immediately plop that in. Do I even need the extra golden faith? No, I don't. Do I want it? Why not? Ah, oh, this was a waste of a move. Oh, well. Uh, what do we do now? Let's open the technology tree. Late game techs already are only costing 47 turns. That's absolutely insane. That is insane to the nth degree. So what we're gonna go for, I guess, is... I guess we can go for irrigation, just because of the fact that, you know, why not? Uh, we can also go with foreign trade. Like, uh, this is absolutely ridiculous. Oh, no, it's gonna take us three turns to build a great bath. How terrifying, and why would I even need want a great bath. We're gonna need a granary. Also, what just... Everything else that's going on, what else do are we gaining from this? Well, if I can find the city details, we have 16 housing that we are gaining. Yep, we're gaining 16 housing. And uh, we're gaining 12 amenities per turn already. 12 amenities and 16 housing. I, I'm sorry, but why... why? Do I even need these things? This is insane to the nth degree. Um, astrology, I guess. We can build a holy site and get a religion in one turn. Uh, what do we want here? <laughs> Border expansion rate is 15% faster. Uh, where's the one with growth plus 10%? Just see how stupidly overpowered this can be. And uh, I cannot find it to save my life. City growth rate is 10% higher. Yeah. So, how much food are we taking now? 57? Um, alrighty. That's not overpowered in the least. And gardens, why not? Let's get even s Oh gosh, why? This is growth's gonna be insane. Yeah, I really don't care. Choose research. Sailing, I guess? Choose civic. Um, political philosophy? As for envoys, let's just send them to Rapa Nui. Why not? Oh boy. This is gonna get insane fast. Alright. And I'm gonna see you at turn 20, and we're just gonna see where I am at, by turn 20. It, it ought to be interesting, so I will see you there. Alright, it's not turn 20, but it also turns out that all my units are excessively overpowered because I just one-shotted a scout with a warrior. Now I'm gonna see you at turn 20. Just so you guys know, the religion that I selected was just me basically hopping in here, selecting this, literally typing in the word religion, hitting confirm, and then literally not knowing what to do, so just hitting work ethic, and then deciding that after that I would take sacred places just to absolutely break this. And this was the religion that I selected. Alrighty, and we are back, and it is now turn 20. And this is all the map that we have uncovered. We have found a random barbarian village that just kind of appeared. We have Ashan up here, we have Moreau, Anubia, we have Cahokia, and we're literally going to just declare war on a bunch of people. So I'm going to go into city-states, I'm going to go to Cahokia, and I'm going to declare war on them. Same thing for Ashan, we're going to declare war. And now that we have declared war on those two people, we're just going to absolutely ruin their day. We're just going to move on in, and take it in one turn. That's right, one turn. You are going to find a kill whatever, and we're going to declare war with Nubia, and I really don't care what you think, because we're just going to absolutely ruin your life. You're going to swoop on in, and you're going to take out Nubia, and I really don't care what you have to say, Nubia. Also, by the way, it's we have 62 arrow score. That's for this warrior down here. He's just going to swoop on in and take over Cahokia, and now it's time to select that we're going to keep all the cities of all these places. And yeah, we just took three cities in one turn. This is how powerful this mod is, because it is not just boosting our cities, it's produced boosting our units. Um, because they have like seven movement and you saw how much damage they're doing even though they're still marked as doing like 20 damage I don't think that's how it actually works anymore as for what we can build well This is everything that we can build and yeah, it takes us like two turns to build wonders it takes a turn to build someone like a traitor We've also taken Rapa Nui and Valletta and they are now I'm now the suzerain of both of them as for over here Same with that exact thing we can just build stuff in literal turns. We don't need 
to actually really wait for anything, because everything just appears out of thin air. I mean, we're making 4,331 gold per turn, 462.9 faith per turn, 466.4 culture per turn, and 496.5 science per turn. Plus, we have 16 tourism and we're gaining horses. Alright, I don't know why we're gaining horses, but we are gaining horses. And I was gonna send you over to go kick this guy's butt, but I guess not. Um, you, I guess, then can build a builder. So this is literal, quite literally what the mod is. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like button, subscribe, so that way you can see more of me breaking the game. And, yeah, this was really fun to do, because it just... Look at how much I've accomplished in 20 turns. 20 turns! See? 20. So anyway, be sure to just absolutely smash that like button, subscribe, go check out my Discord server and Facebook pages, links to both those in the description below. But anyway, hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.